what are the types of benefits we have seen for schools taking part? Well, I think the benefits of EDAF, as far as the school's concerned, are a whole multitude of things. The school could, first of all, value the analysis which it has to uh, go through as an initial stage, both a self-analysis and then the analysis that comes through inviting in the peer review team. Or it might see the benefits primarily in the strategic development stage, which we referred to earlier on as the mentoring process, uh, which helps and supports the school develop over the next three years. I guess perhaps a, an additional benefit that comes through all of this is that it often brings a school into the EFMD network and enables them to discover through the networking process the other services that are available to them. It would be really nice, I think, to invite Christian here to talk perhaps a couple of examples of schools that have gone through EDAF recently and what they thought the benefits were for them. Okay, let me take two examples in order to be more precise. First example is the Chinese school. The Chinese school is aiming at Equis accreditation. They are on the steps, but they were very weak on internationalization. And they have been using the mentoring phase to develop their international network. They now have started a program in English and they are in a network of European and Chinese schools. Other example for one of the African school, with the help of the mentor, which is supporting them and supporting a lot of the expenses, they have developed a strategy for the school. It took them two years because they, they had no idea about what is a strategy. But now they have a strategic plan which has been accepted and they really move forward. These are some of the examples that we can mention with respect to some of the schools currently in the process. 